and uh, the fence is energized at 7,000 volts. So here's what happens. It's uh, 7,000 volts of electricity. Right Hi, welcome to the TTV in this special Veterans Day edition. It is Monday, November 9th, 2020. I'm Tim, and in today's special Veterans Day news, and when I read this article on news.syr.edu on Wednesday, November 11th, the Syracuse University community in the Syracuse area will go virtual in 2020. At 11 a.m., the event will have speakers from... Chancellor Kent Severud, Dean of Hendricks Chapel, Brian Conkle, with leading speaker Dino Babers to share his experience as the son of a United States Navy veteran. And when I took this article from Good News Network, Warrior Expeditions is a nonprofit organization that proves nature to be an effective treatment. For veterans suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. The charity typically helps 30 to 40 vets with 10 different expeditions each year. Which is awesome. Uh, shout out Green Lake State Park. As I was out in nature today writing, the, writing this. And according to Good News Network. At the 2018 Invictus Games, United Kingdom tennis player Paul Guest suddenly became overcome with anxiety when a chopper flew over the stadium. Edwin Vermetten immediately abandoned play and sang Frozen's Let It Go to him. And he literally let everything go. He let it all go. <laughs> And in local news, when I took this article from NewYorkUpstate.com, free food for veterans at Applebee's, military ID required, or honorable discharge. And in special air show news, Uh, we have a couple of videos for you. The United States Air Force Thunderbirds and the United States Navy Blue Angels. And the United States Navy Blue Angels will... It'll be their legacy hornets still. As they are now transitioning to the Super Hornets. But that, you won't see those bad boys in action until 2021. But you can still relive the Legacy Hornets last flight right here on this channel. And yes, I'll make sure to give credit where credit is due. And maybe I'll find a couple of United States Air Force Thunderbirds videos from this season. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure though because their season started in July and... <laughs>
America's ambassador to open with a tribute to the greatest nation on Earth, America's own, known to all the world as the Veterans Day History. According to VA.gov, Veterans Day started out as Armistice Day on November 11th, 1918. Veterans Day celebrates and thanks our nation's veterans. And here is a quote for this Veterans Day. The soldier, above all others, prays for peace. For it is the soldier who must suffer and bear the deepest wounds and scars of war. Douglas MacArthur. And, yeah, I'm going to do two of these this week. As you can already tell, because I thought that Veterans Day is a very special occasion to do... Because usually, I, like I always do one every Thursday, but this week, since it was Veterans Day, I'm like, man, maybe. I'll... And you can email us by thanking our nation's veterans and honoring them at Tim's TV One at Yahoo.com. Like us on Facebook, Tim's Television TTV. Follow us on Twitter at Tim's TV One. And like Tim Bennett Productions on Facebook. So, until next time, I'm Tim. Thank a veteran today. We on the airfield and the airspace were clear for takeoff. One last time in these legacy hornets. Have a good one. Thanks, Mo. Clear for takeoff. Solo's ready to rock Pensacola, boss. Boss, we're clear for takeoff. Winds are 5-5-0-8-5, plus the left crosswind. Check your parking brake off. Check your trip set. Check your nose while steering on. Maneuver, diamond burner, go. Low transition, left turn out. Rocket. Chops, Tootsie, let's turn it up. And uh, the fence is energized at 7,000 volts. So here's what happens. It's uh, 7,000 volts of electricity. Right